sir, it's too hot. I can't. Just do it. The $20 RX590. I've had this for a month or so now. I actually forgot about it because couldn't make it work. XFX, I've never used that company before. It's kind of a bad story. I bought this for $20 on, not sure if it was Facebook or OfferUp. And the guy said that he listed it for 40 actually, but I said, he said it doesn't work. I said, would you take 20 bucks? If nothing else, I could use the heat sink fans. So it's kind of a bad story because I bought it and he gave it to me in my car. And immediately when I had it, there was roaches crawling out of it. And it was so gross that I just, I threw it outside of the car. I poured water on it. And anyway, you don't want to hear the rest of the story. But so about this card, it's a 590, which is nice. Not a 580. It's got a really nice heat sink on it. And the issue that he claimed was it would work, but whenever he would load a game up, he would get a black screen and I looked up that issue on YouTube and Google and it seems to be a pretty common problem and so I figured hey for 20 bucks I could probably make it work so what I did was I took this all apart I didn't make a video about it back then because I was so grossed out but I'm back um, what I did was I, I just basically alcohol bathed the entire card. The back, the front, I washed it with water, let it dry, and did the new thermal paste. It's super clean now. And then uh, after a week or so, I just let it dry. I put it in a system and it booted up, which was good. And then I installed the drivers and then it turned off. So whenever the drivers would load, just the whole computer would turn off. And then I would turn the computer back on and then these fans would be blowing at 100% and there was never any video anymore. I tried it again a couple more times and it just never worked again. So I was under the assumption that it was basically dead. That was about a month ago. So today, as I was doing the, uh, the $100 gaming PC build challenge, which is linked below, I was thinking, I wonder if I can make this work. Because if I could make this work for 20 bucks, I would definitely, be able to get uh, a long way in the challenge, but does it work anymore? I don't know. So to my delight, I put it in the system. It booted up, fine. And I installed the AMD drivers, fine. And it works, but it doesn't work. It works, but it doesn't work. So I installed the AMD software and everything. And then I tried to load a benchmark and the same thing happened. So as soon as I would do anything graphically intensive, the computer would just shut off. Not even a black screen, like the whole computer just dies whenever you do something that's uh, intensive. So I looked again at what people were, other people were doing and I found so many different videos and posts and stuff like that. And so the majority of people said 
because this runs about, I think it runs about 1500 megahertz. I haven't looked up the specs for this. It's, a, it's an eight gigabyte FXFX. So what some people did, I mean, the card is damaged or something, it's broken, right? But what some people did is they lowered the frequency of the GPU to less than what it's supposed to be, and then it worked. So I thought, why not? I lowered it to 700 and then it worked fine. I could run benchmarks, I could do everything. And then I went up to 800, still works. But uh, there's another problem here. So here's the card in the system. And so my idea with this was if it had some sort of issue, whatever issue it is, I'm not sure yet. Uh, my idea was to do what some people do and they bake the card and they take all the parts off and they put it in an oven 300 degrees or whatever for 15 minutes and it kind of reseats all the parts. And I was gonna do that, but I didn't have the oven yet. So what I did was something that was very dangerous, but uh, I've done it before. So back in the old days with the Xbox 360, the GPU would get, the balls would get cracked, the soldering points, and they used to call it the towel trick, and you would wrap the Xbox in a towel and make it run. Even though it had the three red lights, you would just let it run for like half an hour. And what it does is it, it overheats the GPU and it, it kind of reseats the solder points if you can get it hot enough, and then it would work again. But usually only for a couple months and then it would happen again. So here's what I did with this since I didn't have the oven yet. I unplugged the fans since it was working with the drivers and I was able to get it to work at the, the 700 megahertz. What I did was I unplugged the fans and then I put Furmark on and just let run the GPU stress test and it was getting hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter and it was getting up to 90 Celsius and it was running at I think 300 megahertz at that point. So I was just trying to overheat it and see if maybe that was enough to make it seat or whatever and uh, so that was my trick so let's see if that helped because we're up to 1400 now um, I'm a little bit shocked because I really thought I wasn't gonna get over a thousand but I wonder if Furmark is not really a, an example of what is reality. If we went into an actual game, supposedly, if you go into a game, it's gonna crash, but. Before I did the overheat, it wouldn't even go up to this much. It would go, I think 900 was the max. So the overheat may have helped. So, what do we do? Let's try to revert it just back to the stock settings and see if it'll run that way. And then we'll try again. Okay, we're running at default speed now, but also I should note that one of the tips to make this work I'm using MSI Afterburner for the clock, but also somebody said to disable some things in the AMD software. I did that to begin with, and I can't remember what I disabled. I just turned off everything. Sorry, I just don't remember. So, but um, see how the FPS is so low? Even though it's running at 1400 megahertz. So, um, I don't know if that has something to do with it or not. I'm just going to leave it because I don't want it to stop working again. I'm going to run a benchmark at the 
a default speed and then I'm gonna run a game. If all of that passes, I'm going to somehow reset all of this to default. Hopefully that doesn't break it. And maybe, maybe the overheating trick worked, I'm not sure, or was it just the settings that I did in the software, so. But we're gonna do a uh, Furmark, uh, Heaven, Cine or not Cinebench, um, Superposition. So here's Heaven running at 1400 megahertz, which is less than the base clock. It was doing well. I did Furmark at the stop clock and was running Heaven for a few minutes and then it just crashed. So going a little bit under now, we're at 1400. Seems to be doing well, but the performance is bad. The uh, Furmark score was terrible. So it seems like this GPU is somewhat disabled, but if we can make it reliable at some sort of speed, I'll be happy. And so here we are in Fortnite in performance mode. And we're at 60 FPS. And it looks terrible. But it works. So let's see if we can go kill some people with our little pickaxe on our GPU that was supposedly broken. This resolution is like Super Nintendo. Hey, I found a friend. Let's just kill him with the axe. Thank you. I have suffered the wrath of the axe. I don't even know where he came from. Let's go axe some more people. Oh, found somebody new. Let's go axe this guy. Um, that's a girl. Axe, 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 axe. But I suffered a lot of damage. X guy, X guy, X X X X X X X X X X X X X X So here's my final thoughts on this situation. The card is still damaged, but it does now run. And the way that I was able to get it to run was I lowered the memory clock. So I was under the assumption that the GPU is damaged, but it appears to me that the memory is damaged. I put it down from 2000 to 1700 megahertz and everything works fine. I was even able to overclock the GPU for a little bit and get some decent scores. So if you have an AMD that's having trouble, you can try the overheat. Just be careful because you can probably ruin the card, but in my case, it didn't even work anyway, so it was worth the gamble, but I've been using it for a couple of days now. It works fine. So, let me know what you think. Comment below. And we'll see you in the next one.